oh my goodness, there's a dog running towards me, like what is gonna happen to me? Hello, I'm Eve. Thank you for heading over to this part of my channel. Uh, today, I wanna chat to you about why it might be a good idea to get your blind dog to be muzzle trained. So there are many benefits as to why we would want to muzzle train our dog. Um, there are the obvious things where your dog may be fearful of noises or they may be distressed around new people or children and you just want to reduce the risk of any harm to anyone. It could be that they are quite playfully bitey when dogs are blind, some dogs, um, like my rescue, tends to use his teeth a lot. Not in an aggressive way, but he sort of will feel things with, with his teeth, um, which obviously we don't encourage. But if there is a child that might be playing with him um, or someone new or someone that's a bit nervous around dogs and, and he does that to them, it could scare them. Um, and, and again, I don't want to put anyone in that situation where that might cause an injury either. Could also be a reason where you're out and about on a walk and say your blind dog is quite startled um, by different noises or people that might approach or other dogs that might approach. Put yourself in their position, close your eyes, stand in a field and you hear a dog pelting towards you as fast as like a racehorse. Like you're going to want to open your eyes and go what the hell is happening but a blind dog can't do that. So a way that they control that would be to turn around and try and snap at something or lash out. It might end up in a fight. And obviously we do not want that. By getting your dog to wear a muzzle on walks, it just reduces any damage um, to other dogs just invoked from fear from your own dog. There are also instances where your dog's going to the vet. Um, again, they can't see all of a sudden there's something sharp going in the back of their neck for their annual vaccination. That might make them jump and make them snap out because this stranger is hurting them. Yes, there are things you can do to desensitise that, but wearing a muzzle is always a safe bet that actually the vet isn't going to get hurt. Also, for things like um, groomers or other situations where people might be handling your dog, um, say they're not too sure about that or they're going to be put in a situation for the first time where you're not quite sure how they are going to react to that wearing a muzzle again is just a, a way of just completely removing any of that fear and worry that you have and just making sure that your dog is in a safe position place and isn't going to hurt anyone else either another reason is it can just stop dogs picking up any foreign items round about on walks um I know some dogs that like to eat stones, um, it's a bit of a weird one. <laughs> um, it could just be rubbish, litter, they might sniff things out. Um, or it might be other dogs poo, it could be anything. We, we really just don't know the half of what our dogs might pick up. Um, so a dog might be wearing a muzzle um, because they might just like picking things up off the floor and eating them. And we just wanna prevent another trip to the vet. So there are a lot of preventative measures. A lot of assumptions are made with dogs and muzzles just because a dog is wearing a muzzle does not mean that they are an aggressive dog um, but it does mean that you probably want to give them a little bit of space. Now both of my dogs are kind of a little bit like me as well. I kind of like my own space. Um, <laughs> I'm quite happy to just sort of stay at home and just chill out with the dogs. My dogs are very very much the same and by wearing a muzzle when we're out and about it also because of the um stigma around wearing muzzles it tends to just keep people away from us a little bit as well i'm training my border collie jacob to wear a basket muzzle now i like the basket muzzle i feel like it's quite a humane muzzle the dogs can still pant in it they can still breathe okay they can drink water and the most important thing i can still pop treats in and they can still eat the, the treats out my hands. So it's got that sort of positive reward based reinforcement for wearing it as well. Um, what I would say about muzzles is you can get a sort of quite a few different types. Um, please don't use muzzles to stop your dog's barking. 
um, or to stop them, them chewing things in the house. Um, it, a muzzle should be something that just helps prevent um, your dog in being harmed or other people being harmed in any other situations. It shouldn't be used as a punishment. What we want to do with our dog to build up this positive association with the muzzle is introduce it in stages and that's what i want to show you over the next few weeks i'm going to post videos of the various different stages just to get your dog acclimatized and, and happy about wearing the muzzle what you don't want to do is buy a muzzle from the shop take them into a stressful situation to start with get the muzzle on them and only take it off when that stressful situation has finished that for the dog is going to be just just red warning lights everywhere saying okay as soon as this thing gets put on my face bad things happen i get stressed and we don't want that we want the dog to think wicked this is going on my nose i'm going to get loads of treats loads of fuss i'm going to be taken on a walk and as soon as this thing's taken off me all my treats stop so that kind of sucks so we want to make positive associations with it and we don't want to preempt the dog feeling stressed by wearing it Come and follow me while I show you the steps of how to get your blind dog wearing this muzzle over the next few weeks. So I look forward to seeing you on my next video.